One of the newer autoantibodies in myositis that has been emerging over the past couple of year, uh, past couple of years, as an antibody uh, against MDA5. Uh, it is also called anti-CADM140. Uh, this particular autoantibody has been studied in the Asian literature. In the Asian literature, it is associated with rapidly progressive interstitial lung disease and some of the data that we have in our large cohort of patients who do have autoantibody characterization is that this autoantibody is also associated with rapidly progressive lung disease in an American population of patients as well. So this is another autoantibody that is seen in patients with lung disease much like the anti-synthetase autoantibodies uh, that I believe will be important uh, in the ensuing over the ensuing years. Yes, yeah, some of the some of the um, skin findings have been nicely reported by Dr. Fiorentino uh, out of Stanford. Uh, these lesions may not be the classic lesions that we see in dermatomyositis. Uh, that is, that it isn't Gotrin sign and it isn't Gotrin papules, but it's a uh, papular uh, eruption on the palms of the hands, sometimes in association with necrotic ulcerations of the fingers. Uh, so it's not the classic type of dermatomyositis manifestations, but it is uh, a, a feature that is seen on the hands of these patients and on the palms of these patients.